Stamp Light Crochet. Today I want to show you how to make this ladies messy bun beanie. As you can see there's a hole in the top for a bun or a ponytail. I've made this with an open work stitch so it's very pretty when it's being worn. It's made out of bulky weight 5 yarn and you'll need an eye hook which is a 5.5 millimeter hook. This works up really easy and I'll show you step by step how to do this. So let's begin. Okay, in order to begin our fitted messy bun hat, we need 25 chains on the hook. So I have chained 25 and as soon as you have done that, we need to join this without twisting it so that we can begin from the top of the hat down. So in order to join so as not to twist the chain, we need to keep the right side of the chain facing us at all times. So we want to turn it like this and then join it in the very first chain there and um, pull the working yarn through all the way through as a slip stitch. Then we want to chain up two, one, two. And the next thing we are going to do is begin doing half double crochets all the way around. So we should have a total of 25. All right, we want to wrap the yarn around the hook place it into the first chain, wrap around, pull through. We have three pieces on the hook, wrap around and pull through all three at once. That is a half double crochet. Repeat that and I am going in underneath both pieces uh, this time. A lot of times people go underneath the first piece of yarn at the top of the chain, but this time I'm going under both. So we wrap the yarn around the hook, place it under um, both chains or the top chain, either one. Wrap around again and pull all the way through. So continue doing this stitch, half double crochet, around the circle and I will meet you back at 25. Okay, I've just completed my first row of 25 half double crochet and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the hat here so you can keep track of what we're doing. We've just completed the first row of 25 half double crochet. Now we are going to repeat that row, so we're going to do another row. The way we do that is we want to join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain two. So we count up one, two, and we place our hook in there and slip stitch to join. We're going to chain up two, and then we are going to do another 25 half double crochet, and so I will meet you at the end of this row again. Here I am at the end of my second row of half double crochet, so I'm going to join once again in the chain two with a slip stitch. So as soon as you do that, I need for you to chain five this time. Two, three, four, and five. What we are going to do in this next row is we are going to create the open work stitch right here. So we're going to chain five, we're going to skip the very first stitch, and then we are going to do a half double crochet in the next one. So now I am doing that half double crochet. Now your yarn will probably uh, twist around a little bit, but just pull it back up and make sure that you finish your half double crochet. Now as soon as you do that, you need to chain three because we're creating an open work stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch and do a half double crochet into the next. And so just continue to repeat this all the way around until you have created 13 loops and we'll see you back at the beginning. Okay, at the end of this open work row, we want to join in the third chain of that chain five in the beginning. And we join with a slip stitch in that third chain. That makes our 13th loop around. So if you count your loops, you should have 13. And then we're going to chain up three. We're going to make two double crochets in the open space right next to it. And so in this case, this chain three counts as one double crochet. Then we're going to chain one and go into the next open space here and make three double crochets. So we're forming the pattern of three double crochet, chain one, all the way around. And we will be doing this for a number of rows. So chain one, double crochet one in the next space two and three in the next space chain one double crochet one two and 
three in the next space, chain one. So just continue this pattern all the way around. I'll meet you at the very end of this row. Okay, I've reached the end of my very first round of three double crochet chain one. We're going to be doing this pattern for a total of seven rows. So do not chain one at the very end. Just go ahead and join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain three like that. Chain up three and repeat. Go into the next two double crochet. This chain, this chain of three counts as a double crochet. So in the very first one, go into the next two double crochet, chain one, go into the next three double crochet, chain one, all the way around. But every time you reach the end of each round, make sure you do not chain one. Just go ahead and join it. Okay, I will meet you at the end of seven rounds of double crochet three times, chain one. Okay, I've reached the very end of my seventh round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when you've done that, you want to join in the chain three, and I've slip stitched there. And now just to finish the hat, we're going to chain one, and we're going to do a single crochet all the way around. It would be better if you did this a little bit looser. Just go ahead and single crochet in every single stitch around and one single crochet in the open space and complete this round and then we'll do it for another round and we'll have the beanie finished so go ahead and finish this round and we'll see you at the end okay i went ahead and finished two rows of single crochet around the bottom of the hat and so now we've completed our icy pink messy bun beanie and i'm so glad that you could join me this time Please click subscribe on my channel and you can visit my Facebook page at Lamplight Crochet. We'll see you back here next time. Feel free to share these videos with your friends who crochet. Thanks for joining me.